Hi everybody, welcome to Disworld Travel and I am running late. Oh well, so used to go to Monster catching a bus, uh, Flix bus. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where my bus is because I uh, I'm a little bit lost. This is not a good start to this vlog. It really isn't. Let's start with adventure and with my luggage dropping everywhere. And I'm going to drop this phone as well. So maybe I should just concentrate on one thing at a time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So it turns out I uh, missed my bus. The local bus uh, and the long distance buses are in slightly different places. So uh, I was actually kind of looking in the wrong place. The long distance bus was just a little bit further on from where the local buses were. I actually gone to what appeared to be like a bit more of a motorway part. I could actually see my bus. And I quickly like scrambled over a bunch of roads and a rocky area. And then after I scrambled off the rocky area, I uh, was screaming at the top of my lung, Oi! That's my bus! That's my bus! Of course, the guy couldn't hear me and I uh, missed my bus. No drama. Uh, I just had to pay like another 25 euros or something like that just to uh, book another bus. So part two of my German uh, trip isn't going too well as at the start. So uh, let's hope it'll get a lot better after this point. We shall see, we shall see. Right. Yes, I have arrived, finally. After that small mishap earlier, I'm finally at my hostel. I'm staying at the H. Dot hostel, uh, hostel, and it's a really, really nice hostel. There's a slight mix-up with my original booking. For some reason, I actually book, uh, booked the wrong date, and there was a bit slight confusion on which date I was supposed to be staying. But anyway, it's all good. The hostel's looking pretty dead at the moment. Um, I seem to have like this whole dorm to myself. It's a six-bed dorm. Now I really want to stay at this hostel because it just looked really modern and uh, it looked really clean, really high reviews on Hostel World. Plus, uh, the beds look pretty amazing, like each of the beds are custom made. I'm so glad I found this place, it, looks, it feels really, really comfortable. Uh, so I'm going to sleep well tonight and not have to worry about my snoring waking everybody up in my dorm because I'm the only one, yeah! Anyhow. It's only a short walk from the bus station, only like a 10 minute walk. And I've also got a really nice view of the church or cathedral. Um, I can't show you at the moment because it's a little bit dark. I didn't really think this through, but coming on a Sunday a bit late later than I expected, so I was hoping to like maybe squeeze in one or two uh, museums, but museums are also sometimes closed on Sundays. Plus, it's Monday tomorrow, and I completely forgotten that quite a few museums are closed on Mondays, so that kind of reduces the place I can visit tomorrow. Um, I'm still on the shoulder season, so I'm not too sure what exactly the opening times are. I guess I'm going to find out tomorrow. Unfortunately, there wasn't as many open tourist sites as I hoped, and the town definitely isn't particularly big to wander around. But luckily, it had a nice big church and a cathedral and the cathedral had something particularly interesting. But first, off to St. Lambert's Church. St. Lambert's Church stands in the main town square. You can identify it from its big gothic style spiral. Notice the three cages by the clock. In the 1500s, during a particularly gruesome time in monsters history, three radical Christians end up in them. And a short walk from St. Lambert's Church is St. Paul's Cathedral. Funnily enough, located in Don Platz or Cathedral Square. And the main 
attraction is the astronomical clock. There's a little three minute performance of the Magi following the revolving star at midday, Monday to Saturdays. On Sundays, the performance is at 12.30. After all that culture and stuff, time for some food. So I finally settled on um, a very, very traditional German business. It's called a Pinkus Brewery. And what a Pinkus Brewery is, it's a family owned business that they've had for the past couple hundred years. It's known for as being a brewery. And um, yeah, they also have a very nice restaurant, which I'm currently in. It's looking very rustic, actually. They have a lovely, great selection of beers. So if you're a big fan of German beers, definitely come here. And also, I've made a new friend. Hello, new friend. Hi. And we're just trying out some different foods. The food has typical, atypically German. So if you're looking for some traditional German food, this is the place to go. We've just started on our starters. We started our starters. And I've just gone for some pickled herring with some kind of white sauce that's a lot more sour than I expect, expected. Uh, some fried potatoes and some bacon. I'm just waiting for my main, which is a German sausage that apparently cooked in a very um, monster style and hopefully it should be arriving quite soon. Um, I'm really, really enjoying a beer, like really enjoying a beer. Okay, so enough talking, get back to the eating. Okay, so how exciting. My main has arrived, and what it is, very typical German affair. You got your potatoes, you got your sausage, and your sauerkraut. Warm sauerkraut as well, warm. Apparently because it's a local monster uh, specialty dish, I decided to go for it. Um, I'm not, I, one of the reasons why I'm not such a good food YouTuber is because I don't spend enough time going to details. I'd rather just eat it, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. <laughs> A great place to chill out after all that food, drink and walking is to head to the lake. There's also loads of sites around the lake you can visit, like the All Weather Zoo and other water activities, but do check whether it's open. As you can tell, it's really popular with the locals, especially when the sun is out. So which of those seemed most appealing to you? Leave a comment with church, food, beer or a lake. I'd love to know what you think. And I hope to see you at the next video.